The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the barons thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the Baron is. He found his wife, took her away, somewhere far. Anna, she was unwell. A true shame. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlareth attends too, as the crone's guest. Seem to know it well. Havelark's a good tutor. We stand to find Imlareth here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the crones do this. Apparently, Imlareth came here at Eredin's behest, to order the crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlareth might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlareth there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I've no idea why. Loads of footprints. Crowd of peasants came through here. Havelach claims vanity is Imlaris's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Caranthir, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalok's student. Let them approach. But They've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fires down that away, with food and drink and plenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. We thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. Mentioned a gate, said we wouldn't pass. Only the chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess, the young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Valen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. Ladies of the wood visit you? If they favor us. My father told me they descended once. Passed from fire to fire, listening to hopes and grievances. So each year, we wait for them to walk amongst us once more. Haven't done it in a long time, then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. This celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? No need for anger. The White Ones serve the ladies as we do now. We send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling. Scared to death and about eight years old. Stay calm.
said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor neath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Then we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns, at times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen elders gather, hold council. Some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. Tis never enough. Your children, why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. Heard enough about this. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're afire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Look, a child. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. Well, old B, you're back. And I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided, though, it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me, as I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? What are you doing here? Last we met, you and the crones weren't exactly friends. I got an invitation I couldn't refuse, same as every year. In their peculiar way, the crones tolerate my presence and wish to see me at their Sabbath. So I come, wander about, and go home with the rising sun. What about you? We gotta climb the mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you, but I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass. She is stubborn as you. Even more so. Figured as much. Oh. Path to the peak starts there. Past the gate. But only old Thecla's got the key. So since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Oh, good grief. You're worse than children. Three souls are allowed atop the mountain and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. What good is he? Pretty damn good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice of reason. It'll tell you to turn back. There's no fooling with the ladies. We're here to find an elf named Imlarith. Siri thinks he might be a guest of the crones. Big bloke, in full plate? Going the right way. He's atop the mountain, all right. You've seen him? Saw him in the bog first. Water froze beneath his horse's hooves. Then I saw him again yesterday, heading up this path. Why are you looking for him? He killed my friend. Wouldn't seek revenge if I were you. Even the ladies bow and scrape before that one. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck, and do hope we meet again, someday. Hmm, who's that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. Aye. 
What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. Never had a man. <sighs> Never mind. Got me answer. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. Siri. Wonderful. Who wouldn't want to meet the ladies? My companion comes with me. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar and eyes like a viper. I stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. What's this about? What have you chosen her for? Tell him. Each year, three chosen have the honor to meet the ladies. What happens after they've had this honor? When they return, they speak of the past no more. Joy rules them and they start life anew. The lass were not the first to be chosen this day, but the moon hangs eyes, so she's like to be the last. You misjudged me. I'm worthy as anyone. Mm. Girl? He's sprier than any youth. Only smells like corpses because he kills monsters. And he'll kill any who stand in his way. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right you may appeal my choice. But to do so you must best the challenge. What kind of challenge? Tell him. You must descend into the cave and bathe in the waters below the earth. What's the catch? The water's deep. The water's murky. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defiers Oran. Now, bring me the coin. <sighs> I was beginning to worry. Come, so let's get the key. Something's nigh. They're back. What do you want? Can't help but be curious. What's at the summit? Tell him. The ladies dwell there. But only the Chosen may look upon them. I know that. I want. You'll learn nothing else here. Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, can I keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for ye. Now go! Hmm. What's your name, girl? What's yours? <clears throat> Your name don't matter. Atop the peak, you'll lose it and get another. You may go. And you? I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers, Oren. A death sentence.
off, son of a bitch. We've no time to lose. I'll turn to Imlirith, you take the crones. Avalark said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. Out of the question. I'll climb the mountain, you face the crones. Hardly a challenge. They're extremely dangerous. Be careful. You too.